for Space Engineers. And as you can see, let's turn off our inertial dampeners. We are back into the thick of it. Now, this is a little bit different than what we've done previously. Yes, the hug, <laughs> the hug ship is back. <laughs> So, what we have is a whole lot of changes. In fact, let's go ahead and bring this thing to a stop here. And let's talk about some of the things that we have going on. We have shields, right? Okay. And I'm not seeing anything overly hostile. Okay, so for what we're doing is... Uh, we have added a, a couple of mods so let's talk about the first one most importantly we have a planetary system and this is actually built by the system generator mod which won't be in the mod playlist only because of the fact that well it will eventually end up there <laughs> but it's not an active mod that we're using uh, basically you build your save with that thing first you remove it from the list and then you add all of your other mods um, so we're gonna have quite a bit of uh, miscellaneous stuff floating around out here. Uh, we've got a couple of things like if the Mars-like planet shows up, the, uh, the the associated moons will actually be with it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a whole lot of things in here and a little bit of data on what's av available on each of these. Now, this is going to be a mostly unscripted survival playthrough. Um, I say that as in unscripted, as we're not quite sure what is going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we've got Reavers, we've got Orcs, we've got just about every mod that I could find that adds any type of encounter. Uh, we've got the perpetually perturbed pirates, because, you know, it's no, no fun being able to be friendly with them. We even have the spiders and wolves <laughs> and drones. I mean, everything is turned on. Oh. Such a beautiful scape. I mean, look at that. Space Engineers is just absolutely amazing sometimes, you know? But uh, anyway, let's talk about some of the stuff we've got going on. Uh, anything over there? No? Okay. So... Some of the things that we have added, let's uh, sacrifice this one for right now, at least. And so if we go to scripts, and let's see here, faction, target info, you know, the usual stuff. Let's scroll down here. Heat display, velocity, simulate it. <laughs> So we even have weapon scanners and cargo scanners, so if we get close enough to ships, we can actually see if they're carrying anything that makes them worth picking a fight with. Uh, we have a death counter, which I thought I actually put on one of the displays, but maybe not. And then the solar map mod, so this actually allows us to see the entire thing, if it's just info information, particular planetary maps, and uh, actually, here, I'll show you. So you can, so that's I think the closest planet, or maybe the planet we're looking at. This is the actual map without all of the details, and then this is the planetary breakdown, so you can see what each of the planets have, and then the map that we're actually using right now. So I want to say not we're going back to images. I'll leave that as it is for now. Pirate, okay. Where are you? You are basically directly above us, it looks like. Yeah. Let's, uh... We'll get a look at you. Torpedo Corvette. Alright. So, yeah, like I was saying. But basically, we don't have a whole lot of... We're not doing any... I haven't done any set building. I haven't done any type of, like, uh, 
in counter building, we're basically trusting RNG to, you know, screw us over. <laughs> because let's be real, it will. Um, uh, did, do you not... The threat of one. We'll wait for things to recharge and maybe take a shot. Now, this also means because of the fact that I haven't done any type of actual set building and we haven't done, and we're not planning on doing any of this, it's basically going to be as things unfold, we're going to deal with them. That means that we are going to have a whole lot of time where uh, <laughs> we might we might actually end up getting our our character completely destroyed. Um, so, what we're going to be doing is the basic storyline for what we're doing this time is we have successfully gotten back into some realm of civilization, and we've now got the task of basically building a, a, uh, a beachhead, as it were, here in the system. So, what we're going to do is using the information that we've gathered from the various planets is to make a determination on whether or not you know where we're going to build and uh, start trying to plan things like maybe a station there's probably going to be something on the planet uh, let's go yeah there you go so he's running away which is fine so what we are going to run into is basically what we brought with us, and this is what we had at the at the end of the last series. I took a direct copy of what was there and moved it over to the new save. Um, so as you can tell, we have a little bit of stuff. I mean, we're actually not too bad as far as basic resources are concerned but we are low on ammo. Um, the ammo we have is what we have. And I don't have a whole lot to make a lot more ammo. So some of our systems are okay. Some of us, some of our systems may not be okay, but you will notice I don't have a mining ship. <laughs> Which means we are, yeah, we're going to need to build one or we're going to be doing a lot of mining by hand and let Bob pick it up. Um, now, one of the other things that we have installed is the deep ore mod. So now, depending on how rare the ore is, it may not be at with you know within 20 or 30 meters of the surface. It may be 500 meters below the surface. I figured we're using the overclocked ore detectors. We may as well do something with that, right? The other change is if you remember, we were using the all scrap mod. And then we had the all scrap found your crap, which which returned some components as well as scrap materials. We don't get components anymore. That second mod has been removed. So it's all we're going to be getting is scrap. So if we grind something down, like if we want to capture something, we can't grind it down for parts. We'll only be able to grind it down for scrap and then process the scrap into something else, which means we'll be losing materials every time we do that. So we did put the where we do have the advanced welding mod in so we can actually use the weld pads. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting an interesting uh, season, I think. What I'm really worried about <laughs> is getting into a situation where what we end up with is, uh, you know, we crash on a planet and I have a really bad feeling that that is probably going to happen at some point because we don't have anything other than ion engines on this thing. So if we end up too close to a, uh, a planet, we're kind of screwed. Um, which means if we're running away from things like the Reavers, we will uh, have a, a bit of a field day. Well, at least the Reavers are going to have a bit of a field day. All right, so you look like you might be the Earth-like planet. 
And I think what I want to do is I think we're going to change the seat. Uh, I want large display. I think I want to have that be the map. Oh, <laughs> it won't display. All right. Uh, how about cargo scanner? Let's see here. Uh, heat display. That'd be a good one. So we do actually have heat in here. We have the uh, planetary physics which means if we actually enter an atmosphere, we are risking burning up. So uh, we'll see how that all plays out. <laughs> all right. So all right. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can get one of these to display our uh, what we're looking at here. Images, which do a script planetary. So, is that a wondering? I'm guessing this is where we are. So, Earth like it's probably where we're going to head. All right. Well, if that's not going to do anything for us, let's go ahead and leave that like that for now. And the idea is that we have all of these extra screens specifically so that as things get added into the game, uh, we'll be able to use them. All right, so... Uh, double Spurn Void, there's... No known resources on it. Cold Void has ice. And. Pertum has everything but ice, it looks like. Cobalt, silver, magnesium, and gold. Alright, so I'm thinking. Hmm, 1 G of gravity versus 1.2 G of gravity. I think we're going to be in a better situation if we head for the Earth-like planet. Now, we actually do have things like nebula enabled and uh, weather enabled as well. So, I mean, this is going to be basically everything and anything that can go wrong will be invited to. And we're going to aim off to one side here. We're going to go like so. And what are oh, on Haka? Just making sure I'm actually in the seat. We've got an asteroid. Okay. Uh, we got all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's because I have it set up for a micro jump. I'm like, oh, wait, we've got resources there. <laughs> uh, let's head over this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to start mapping out the resources. Do that. Oh, okay. So. We need to we need to scout some of this stuff out, figure out what we have in the local cluster. I need to reset my jump drives. Let's do that really quick. You should be. Uh, it should be good. 
And you should also be... Okay, so yours... Looks like everybody is set up. And so what we're going to do is let's get a little bit closer, see if we can... What I'll probably do... Is... Uh, let's get in here, we'll centralize... waypoints and that way we can if we need to we can jump into the area to, to pull resources so one of the things that I want to do is make this an ongoing series where we'll end up with um, some automation hopefully so we've got gold, silver, nickel, and platinum. Not a bad mix. Not so worried about the stone because, or iron, because, you know, we're going to have it. And as you can see, that looks like that's actually a really good chunk of, uh, I'm guessing that's platinum. So if we do this, and this is going to be three, three, one. And what do we say? We said platinum, nickel, gold, and silver. Platinum, nickel, gold, and silver. Okay. Mm. Doesn't look like anything new showed up. So what we can do then is let's go ahead and say we're gonna do a 500k jump. I think we're 5,000 away. Right, so I'm kind of curious to see, will this update? 5.9, yeah, so that did update. So we are closing in on the Earth-like planet. All right. That's good to know. Okay, so we now know how that works. Oh. So what I'm thinking is we have... Uh, we actually have production facilities on board, and we have material. So what I'm thinking we're going to do... Actually, let me check something really quick. How much ice do I have? Uh... Okay, I've got a lot of ice. Okay, just making sure you... <laughs> uh, we got cobalt nice over there. It's actually not, not a, a bad distance here. Let's get over there a little bit, see if we can perhaps get us a little bit of uh, material. Reaver encounter. Okay, first off, please tell me all of my antennas are off. Uh, take a quick scroll through. I think I've only got one antenna on board. Alright, so we're going to avoid the Reavers. We're actually going to avoid as much of this stuff as we can. And 
keep heading this way. Actually, I want to check. I don't think I'm in a faction, am I? Nope. Now the question is, is do I want to join a faction? <laughs> Sort of doesn't like us. Uh, independent contractors don't like us. Military doesn't like us. And the orcs obviously don't like us. That's okay. Funny enough, I don't see the Reavers on here. I mean, I guess technically they don't. They wouldn't be a faction, but... Alright, so we're going to go GPS 2. And this was what, uh, Ice and what? Or, or the other one was Cobalt. Wait for it. Because it's gonna basically it generates wherever you have. Uh, you shoot not. Oh, you're not shooting at me. That's all I care about. Uh, basically, it generates wherever you hit the return, so that you know. So, yeah. Oh, and that's the other thing. Faction wars are enabled again. I'm using, <laughs> I've got two different faction war mods on board, so. Alright, how much time? Uh, we want to get ourselves a little bit closer. I'm going to get away from the, I'm just trying to get away from the Reaver encounter at this point. Honestly, I was <laughs> not looking forward to having those guys around. So we've got a couple of waypoints out here that we can come back to if we need materials, which is always a good thing. That tells me that there's generally a pretty good resource node in the area if, when you find you know, things like cobalt or ice. Uranium would be really nice to find. But we'll see how that works out. All right. So I think... For now, we're basically, that's uh, what we're doing. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, we may have folks dropping in on this. You never know. Oh, man. But yes, I am uh, rather a little paranoid. Because, well... <laughs> This is the extent, like basically, this ship is all we have <laughs> and all we have access to uh, until we get to some place where we can actually build some things. And so I would love to get a uranium asteroid. Um, that we would be able to build on. And so, um, like I said, I'm going to head towards the Earth-like planet, and what I'm hoping for is that we have enough NPCs in the area that they can, if not soak hits for us, at least operate as an early warning indicator. So if we see them getting attacked and we know that, you know, we need to get the hell out of the area. And I mean, realistically, we could turn this ship into a station, and that's always an option. But I'm kind of liking the ship the way it is. And I do not want to be anywhere near you. So we're going to keep going. We're almost recharged. Alright. Let's take a look. Alright, so that's saying... I don't think that's right. I don't think that's updating. Oh no, I guess it is updating. Look at that. Or three seven point five point six. We're moving away from Earth Lake. Why are we moving away from Earth Lake? What's in front of us then? Point six and point eight. Oh no, we're heading to that says we're near Earth though. Is 
Is that not actually the Earth? Because that's the alien world. Alright, hit the brakes for a second here. Alright, you know what? Let's point off to the side. And we'll see where we end up. I want to see which planet we're closing in on. I don't think that's the Earth-like. That is a frozen world. So where are we? Okay, that's 62. So yeah, we jumped away from the Earth-like planet. Uh, Devil's Cold. Yeah, so we're heading towards Devil's Cold Void. All right, we need to figure out where the hell is the Earth-like planet then. If you're the Devil's Cold Void... Uh... Maybe that one? So it's gonna be slightly above us and to the port. Molten iron. That's actually good. Let's go this way. We get in around like one and a half K, two K from it. We'll see if that uh we'll probably probably close it at two K. Get. This should be fine. It's like nothing like going looking for a fight, right? Alright, so I want to see if that number is going down or not. It is going down, so we are now heading towards the Earth-like. We're heading away from Cold Void. And I want to see if that goes down. That's increasing. So okay, we're heading away from the Devil's Void, or Devil's Barren, and Devil's Cold. I'm wondering. If this is just basically saying that's where the orbit is. So the Earth like is closest to the to the system core, but we're closest to these folks. Alright. Cobalt iron. We got really lucky that there was no little debris asteroids out here. Right. 
That shattered one might have uranium in it. You know, people keep telling me, like, at one point in time, it's like, oh, yeah, these are, you know, if you saw that, you'd head for it because that was where the uranium was. But uh, using the star, the, was it the solar system creator or generator, it generates everything, including the asteroids, like the asteroid density. And so uh, it's one of those kind of need to be aware that things may change. Yeah, because that's, like I said, that's definitely the alien world. Anytime you have the... Anytime you have the green halo on it. That might be the Earth like. Looks it. Looks it. This isn't good. Uh, so. You are getting mighty close there. Nope, way behind. It's on intercept. It is on intercept. Alright. I think all of our. Looks like we're doing a little bit of damage there. Ooh, he's all sorts of messed up. Look at him. And waiting for the real guns to come back online. Oh, that looked painful. Reclamation rig coming in, huh? Where's that at? First fire bomber. Reclamation rig. As long as you're not shooting at me, we got no problems. All right. All right. Let's flip ourselves back over. So I think. Are you the right one? How did myself get flipped around? Bring the ship to a stop here. I can't tell if that one's the one we're looking for or if it's that one. Which
Looks like that one. Are we? Ah. Just making sure I'm still in the seat. Worst thing you can have happen is hit that jump and be outside of the seat when it goes. All right, so. I think we jumped back to where we were. Ah, oh, crap. Did we just jump backwards? I think we just jumped backwards. Well, that needs to be turned off. Thank you. I don't know. We may have gotten completely turned around. I got so tied up into the fight, I was like... Uh, silver and magnesium. Not too worried about those. What I want to do is I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Alright, that looks like that's the ice world, so yeah, okay. So I'm not sure that we uh, got turned around, but... I think we're heading in the right direction now. There we go. Okay, so... That's 26%. Uh, you know what I don't have? I don't have programmable blocks on board. Right, so do I have the building repair? Yeah. Okay, so let's head downstairs while we're waiting for things to recharge. I can get into our grid over here. One of the benefits of these guys. And I want interior plate. Should have a couple dozen of those. We do. And we're going to throw a programmable block in somewhere. I could swear I had a couple of these, but Let's see. Get rid of all that. And oh, interesting. I forgot we had these. Okay. All right. So um, I have installed. This little beastie. These guys are programmable blocks that look like displays. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put... Should be... Alright, so, uh, yeah. We actually need steel plates. So, let's grab... Put these. I don't want to put them down here. Putting them in engineering is not a bad idea. Let's, I think I'm putting them up here, though. I'm going to check to make sure we don't have anything. Are we not closing? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put them down in engineering then. We'll probably put a couple. 
that. So you're going to be. That's clear. That's clear full. I want these to be small. Yellow. Blue, maybe? The red ones wouldn't be bad. Let's go blue with that one. All right. So content, we're going to do script. And let's go. We'll do that just because we can. All right. So if we then go in here, we're going to grab our script for automatic LCD2. Hey, we, that way we know things are working. All right. And then what we're going to do up here is we're going to set up one of these guys. Um, let's see, who's got a good... Hmm. We'll do this one. You're going to be uh, a counter LCD. Uh, we're going to have you be no content. And this one we're going to say. Uh, trying to remember. And then it's going to be details. Uh, I want it to be just us. Pack. Yeah, I'm select it. Hmm. All right. I think. Um, it's been a while since I had to do one of these. Let's see here. Uh, I might need to do that inside the. No blocks found. Okay, so let's go thirty. How about if we get rid of this? It's been a while since I've had to set this one up. <laughs> have any water on me? No, I don't. Uh, let's head back here really quick. Because I think I put some food in here before. I did. Grab, uh, no. Got 
Dang it. Quit doing that. And we're going to grab three of those, too, just because we can. All right. All right, so our seat, our ship should be recharged. And hopefully we don't slam into that asteroid. Hole. Oh yeah, that was a, a little closer than I... <laughs> Galactically speaking, that was much closer than it probably should have been. Right. And we're now at 53. Our next jump should take us to 48. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is, now that we've gotten most of the stuff up and running, I'll go ahead and cut this one here. I want to thank you all for stopping, and hopefully you enjoyed it. What we're going to be doing, like I said, is we'll just be dropping some breadcrumbs here and there as we go. Hopefully uh, getting to the worlds that we need to get to as I find... Asteroids that are worth investigating. We'll drop some GPS so that we can always come back to them. And that looks like that's got a large thing of iron on it. That's cobalt. Is that iron or cobalt on there? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Thank you for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this whole thing goes. Because... Yes, we're starting with a bit of advantage on this because we actually have a working ship with a bunch of resources. Um, but at the same time, we have a, a lot of very hostile people coming after us. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that all works. Anyway, I am going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your weekend, and we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Getting a little bit closer. <laughs>